Hi, welcome to the second tutorial on creating a virtual cluster using Oracle VirtualBox and Ubuntu Server. In the previous tutorial we just installed the virtual machines, so in this one I'm going to start setting up the network for the headnode as well as the DNS server. So I just logged into the headnode. First thing I'm going to do, sudo, ooh, not typing, sorry, sudo minus i. Um, we're going to be using root for most of the basic setup so it's a good idea to just immediately switch switch to root. Um, first thing I want to check if the host name is correct so it's just master. I will then have to host name master.testcluster.com as well as vim slash etc slash uh, host name and change this to master.testcluster.com as well so now host, host name should show master.testcluster.com okay the next step is to configure the network card cards so vim slash etc slash network slash interfaces and you should see eth1 is already defined and that's fine it should be just as it is there so this should be the private network interface o2 eth0 iface eth0 inet static then the address will be 11.0.0.1 netmask is 255.255.255.0 network is 11.0.0.0 and the broadcast address is 11.0.0.254 and that should be all for this uh, file so just exit right and quit now for earlier versions of Ubuntu using service networking restart should do the job but in the newest version it doesn't work the only way to get the eth the interface up is to if up eth0 so if I do if config now you'll see eth0 as um, IP 11.0.0.1 and ETH1 as 11.0.0.23. Now the next step is to um, install a few features, well a few libraries that we're going to use. So apt get minus UI, open SSH, ISC, no, yes, ISC minus DHC p minus server w get nfs minus common point nine ntp gcc and make so open ssh we need for sshing between the head node and the master nodes i see dhcp server is just the dhcp server that we're going to use wget we will need later on to uh, fetch packages from the internet nfs is the network file sharing system that we will use to share the home folder and an exports folder between the nodes and the head node bind9 is the dns service ntp is the network time protocol gcc is just the GNU common compiler um, that we will be using to compile other programs later on and then make obviously the uh, make program to compile programs so oh. you should just remember to add the install after apt get unlike I did okay open SSH is giving a problem at the moment so I'm just gonna leave that one out the rest should be fine and I'm going to pause the recording until this is done installing Okay, it's finished installing. 
So the OpenSSH packages I were I was looking for is apt get install minus y OpenSSH client and OpenSSH server. Uh, this one should be quick. Okay, if that worked correctly, I should now be able you to log in using Putty. So just 10.0.0.23. Yes. Log in as Sinky. With but okay, so open SSH is finally working. Just gonna close that again for now. Um, okay, so let's start using the DNS setting up the DNF service. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish the whole setup this tutorial, so I'm just going to start with the um, default zones file. Now this is a little bit different than the um, scientific Linux version. Mainly where the how the the basic setup file is um, is set up and where the files are. So where on scientific Linux it's at slash etc slash named. This one is in slash etc slash bind, and the file we're looking for is named dot conf dot default dash zones okay so there should be a lot of zones already in the file so just go down to the bottom of the file hit i and insert some new zones so just zone test cluster dot com Um, also, on Scientific Linux, here we have an in, but not in Ubuntu Server. The in is not required. So this should be type master file slash etc slash bind slash testcluster.com dot forward and allow update key rndc key that should be it for that zone so now just the reverse lookup zone to 0.0.11 dot in dash addr dot a R P A Brace Brace Type is master as well file is slash etc slash bind slash testcluster dot com dot reverse and allow update key R N D C key that should I made a typo here that should be R in D C key. And that should be it for this file. So I'm just going to write and quit that. Now the next one we want actually I'm going to open putty for this. 0.0.0.23 sudo minus i so the reason I want putty is because in putty it's easier to copy and paste than it is using only vim so I'm going to open slash etc slash bind slash rndc dot key and select all the text in here and then I'm going to close the file now I'm going to edit the file we were just in on the um, virtual machine 
just name.conf.options and then scroll all the way to the bottom of the file and paste the key now that should be good as far as I know except for these okay so your key should look something like that but please use your own key not this one and save the file now a very important thing to edit that I had a big struggle with a bit earlier is the app armor application in Ubuntu um, it locks the bind folder so that the bind service cannot actually write new files to it and that's a problem because bind needs to create journal files so we need to edit slash etc slash app armor dot d slash usr slash dot sbin dot named so scroll down to the bind section here and on the first line here where there is just slash etc slash bind slash star star add a w behind the r so that uh, bind has read write permissions to that directory and then right quit the file and service app armor restart okay now the uh, bind service should be set up so just service bind 9 start and it looks good oh no it actually it's not we'd never set up the zone files so uh, so we need to create the zone files quickly so, ah again so just vim slash etc slash bind slash testcluster.com dot forward now we add dot insert dollar ttl 86400 add in in soa master dot testcluster dot com dot root dot testcluster dot com dot and then bracket bracket so serial should be one six zero four eight zero zero for refresh eight six four zero zero for retry two four one nine two zero zero for expire and eight six four zero zero for minimum then add in ns master dot test cluster dot com dot and master in a 11.0.0.1 and now do the same for the reverse lookup file so the basic layout for the reverse lookup is the same dollar dollar ttl uh, sorry insert dollar ttl eight six four zero zero at in soa master dot test cluster dot com dot root dot test cluster dot com dot bracket
Okay, and then we add at in ns master.testcluster.com master in a 11.0.0.1 and 1 in ptr must master dot test cluster dot com and that should be it for the zone file so just write quit and then service point nine restart again and everything looks okay from here in the next tutorial I will set up the DHCP service um, and let that interact with the DNS server we just set up f to enable dynamic domain name service. Thanks for watching.